The last time I spoke to this young lady, she was telling us about how she battled depression for about two years and how she had to pull away from her record label to stand on her own, how tough it was. Well, over the last one year and a few months, she's been able to release an album. She has also released about seven music videos and gone on to win the best music video at the VGMAs 2021. That time we spoke was in the studio. This time around, we had to find her home and get to speak to her. Hopefully, it will be very comfortable in there and we're trying to get to know a lot more about what she's been up to as well as that premiere of her latest music video the one with tiwa savage where she calls coming home this is the beautiful home of miss v she's probably waiting for us let's go speak to her now hello anybody home can i come in hello can i Hi. hold oh this is so cute oh my god i'm scared she is two days old come in. like i can feel the movements oh my god come in okay I'm okay. I'm fantastic. Nice place, I must say. Thank you. So this is where you hide? Yes. Most I, of the time. I wish I could tell you where this is. This is like really, really far. <laughs> you need to really love Miss V to want to come all the way here to come and see her. But everything okay music-wise? Everything is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I have not released in four months, so I'm itching to You make it sound like it's been a year or two years. For me, it's been a year. Because you're releasing a lot more yeah, yeah, in yeah. the past. Yeah. So four months is a stretch? For me, yes. I remember you came to premiere, it was Vanity that you released four months ago, right? Mm -hmm. You came to premiere it in the studios, mm -hmm. we talked about it and how, I mean, at that time it was very rife because there were concerns about money rituals and all of that. And yes. I, I mean, you talk extensively about it, but how has it done so far, four months since you released it? Oh, okay, so let me put it this way. Pastors are using that song to preach in church. Huh? Yeah. Who churches are these? It's this Catholic church. My, my assistant, she came uh, to my place uh, like... A few days ago, mm -hmm. she was like, Vera, guess what? I went to church and then the pastor started singing the song. And he was like, there's this song I really like, everything. Now okay. And he was preaching with, it. with the song. So I guess it's doing pretty well. How does that make you feel? Yeah, what? An apostle now? A, yes. A deaconess? Hallelujah. Something like that, right? <laughs> yeah. But it must feel good. Like, have you heard from young people? What have they said about this particular song? Are they even paying attention to the words? Oh, they are. I mean, okay. if you look on YouTube at the comments, yeah. when I released the song and I was posting a lot about it, like mm. initially, if you look at the comments, it touched people a lot yeah. and people really listen to the lyrics. Mm. So hopefully they are still living by I those hope words. So. Yes. So that's from the Invisible album, right? Yes. Invisible. Invincible. In, in, but it's V E E. Yes. So, so in, just Invincible. The e. Invincible. Okay. Yes. How is that doing? Is it's it doing, doing well. well. Um, I think I told you this before. I didn't expect it to do as well as it's doing just yeah. because it's not the usual type of vibe you hear in Ghana. Exactly. You know, we like the crazy. Yeah. And I had very calm types of vibes on mm -hmm. there. I had one or two, you know, Ghana type yeah. vibes. But I didn't expect people to enjoy it as much as mm. they are. So I'm extremely happy about Generally, it. Generally, how do you think you're doing, faring in the industry? There have been comments. I'm sure you've seen them. People saying that, eh, Miss V has lost it a little bit. She's mm -hmm. not the Miss V that we knew under links. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not working for her. Something mm -hmm. is missing. Oh, people change. So, of course, something has changed. And I okay. think I have changed for the better. I think okay. there's um, some maturity in what I do now. And, yes, I've heard those comments. And I've also heard largely about how amazing I'm doing at the Great. moment. So, yeah, there are two sides to the story. Okay. I mean, even for any artist who's doing, say, Justin Bieber, he'll mm -hmm. have people who are saying nay to him. Yeah. And you have people who are bigging him up. Yeah. So, it's always like yes and no. But... For me, I feel like the yeses are more are than more. yes. But do you feel pressured a little bit even? No, not, not well at first, but not anymore. When you say at first, at what point? Um, I think that there's just a point where you just have some type of awakening or mm -hmm. some realization that this is not really what's important and then this is what's more important. Mm. And I feel like I'm doing this music legit because I want to make people happy and yeah. that, like that's the number one thing mm -hmm. and what is done for me more than anything is it's helped me grow okay. in so many ways I can't even explain like well try and explain a few oh like, like to know. how have you grown 
there's more to life than okay. what I used to imagine it as. Like, mm. you know, just doing this music thing, jumping on impact people's lives and okay. that's what i do my high school tour for for example okay. so i had um one of it just recently mm -hmm. went to accra girls mm -hmm. took resource people i had um marketing i think director for um samsung okay for west africa Ooh. she came along and then she talked to the kids we did like a studio session mm -hmm. there were a lot of them who wanted to maybe finish school and get into music but mm. the parents will not understand it so they need a proper role model yeah, like myself like yourself exactly. yes to let them know that you can do it do it with style and have some respect while you're but you are still impacting society anyway with some of your music natural yeah. girl is one of them yeah yeah yeah. so it resonated right now, with many people yeah so, so you don't necessarily need to visit the schools necessarily to see that you're making no an you sometimes you have to show face okay sometimes it makes more of an impact than people just watching you on tv mm -hmm. or listening to your music mm -hmm. they want to see you to feel what you're saying so yeah. And you feel all these hap these things happened after you went solo? No, I mean I was doing that before. Exactly. But what I'm saying the switch is now is just how mature I am. Mm -hmm. Even in the way I talk, in the songs I sing, in the way I perform, it's one comment that's just going round mm. anywhere I go. Is it annoying yeah. that constantly people see you and remind you of your past record label and having to work with them in the past and all of that? Not at all. It I doesn't mean, get ups upsetting the, the, sometimes? No, it's never upsetting. I mean, it was me in there. It's not mm -hmm. like they're talking about someone else. Yeah. They were talking about me before. I had a start. I am in the middle right now. Mm -hmm. I will have a finish. It's a part of my story. So if anybody is talking about it, why not? If there was an opportunity to work with them again, would you? I don't know. Maybe. You never know. Maybe. Yeah. What would be the reasons why you might consider working with them again? Um, I don't know. It has to feel right. I guess it's like um, someone saying they want to collaborate with me. It just has to feel right. I mean, mm. yeah. You don't collaborate with everybody, but you yeah. collaborate with someone you feel like it fits. So yeah, would it fit? Not? And what would make Maybe. it fit? When you say it feels right, I, I feel like that's still vague. Like I don't know. It just has to be right. I don't know how to explain it. Like okay. if I, if like for example, I did a song with say Kelvin Boy. Yeah. It's a song I recorded a long time ago, but mm. then I was sitting in the studio with the rest of my team and we're listening to the song. And for some reason, everybody said Kelvin Boy needed to be on. You can't just, you just don't know why, but mm. he just fit the mm -hmm. song. So, that's so why. then if that works, yeah. I mean, they come back and say, we'll give you a better deal, whatever mm -hmm. the reason was, which is why you left, we'll give you a better deal, mm -hmm. um, you know, give you that opportunity to also be free. Because I remember there was an interview where you, you mentioned that if anything has changed about not working under a label, it's the freedom that you enjoy yes. as and, an individual. Yes, and I will not give that away for anything in this no? world. No? No. So don't make it sound like you were <laughs> enslaved and no, I was not enslaved, but yeah. I was not enslaved, but I mean, I said before that it had its advantages and, downs, and yeah. disadvantages, but I've come to like being on my own okay. a bit more. So yeah, I don't, I don't want to give this up. Maybe mm. not just yet. Mm. Yeah. How's your family taking you being on your own, having to fund your own music yeah. and stuff? Um, they are very supportive. My okay. mom, she's never been someone who's negative. Mm. She always lets you know you can do anything yeah. you put your mind to. So, yeah, the support. I, I watched her sing along to your song over the weekend. Yeah, Vanity. Vanity. Yeah. And the whole family was there and they yes. were singing. I can tell that something has changed, you know, even at home. And the fact mm -hmm. that I see a lot more of you hanging out with your family mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, that's what I meant by... I've come to understand like some things are more important in this life. Okay. When, say, um, three years ago, I was, well, well, when I started Lynx up until I left, I was not that cool with my family because work, con work completely consumed everything I was doing. Okay. I was working so much, mm -hmm. I forgot about family. And then when that depression phase hit me, they were the only ones who could rescue me. Yeah. So, I mean, I am back actively with my family now and it's just keeping me level-headed but i didn't say work was consuming everything yeah i mean you still lived in the same town with them i didn't know that you were seeing no i mama. didn't i didn't even really see them much Look, how often when would I, you when see I your family back, when oh, you were not working often at all maybe once a month yeah. your mom once a month my family everybody wants and unless there's like something important that's supposed to bring everyone together everyone's just 
yeah doing their own thing i know it looks bad it was bad no i won't say but, bad i mean yeah. everybody and the nuances in their family so i can't mm -hmm. necessarily describe that as bad but mm -hmm. i just found that a little shocking mm -hmm. um that you you live in the same town with your family and mm -hmm. you see them once a month Oh, it's not did music at all. So it happens a lot. It did. It did. I get home. I'm tired. All I want to do is watch TV and go to bed. So that was it. But I was you were enjoying a it. lot. Mm -hmm. Were you um, enjoying it? At a point, I was. I was lost. So I really didn't know mm. what was going on with me. Honestly speaking, mm -hmm. I, it was one thing I used to complain to Richie about that I didn't know who I was. It was confusing for me in my head. Okay. So I, I just did the music and... Didn't know who you were, how? I mean, apart from the name, Miss B, what exactly could you not identify about yourself? Um, I can't even explain, but you know where you get confidence from because you know who you are? Like, I feel that now. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that before. Okay. Yeah. You feel very confident about yourself? Yes. You know who you are? Yes. Who are you? I'm a strong, independent, I big girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Interesting. And again, you've been working a lot, recording mm -hmm. your own songs and stuff. The latest one is the one we're going to be premiering today. Yes. Tiwa Savage. Yes. How did that come about? I texted her. Huh? On Instagram. Just like that? Yes. How is that possible? And she responded? <laughs> Guys, your girl has a good rep, okay? I know. <laughs> oh, so I can just text Denzel Washington and say I want to act I, I, in a I movie don't, with I don't you and I'll get a response, too, right? Too easy, but <laughs> it won't be bad. Or maybe text Oprah and say, hey, how about an interview with you? And she'll be like, I'm here. Oh, but wait, on a more serious note, I met her for the first time at the CAF Awards in okay. Nigeria. Okay. I was the only Ghanaian on there. I was supposed to do um, my song with Pato Rankin. Yeah. So um, the night before um, band rehearsal, she came. I didn't even know she was on the bill. So she came backstage and then she came to do her rehearsals. And that was the first time we spoke. And years later, fast mm -hmm. forward, I recorded the song and then... Like I said, we sit in the studio, who can go on the song? Yeah. And her name came up. I'm like, yes. So I just took my phone and I texted her on okay. Instagram. And she was like, yeah, why not? And the minute she got in the studio, she recorded the song. Just like that? Yeah. What's she like in person? She is fun. But okay. let me say the one thing I admire about her the most is she does not play with her work. Mm. She doesn't play with her work. Mm. Because um, we shot the video a few months ago, mm -hmm. the day she came to record, the night, in fact, I feel like, I think the day before, she had just lost someone really, really close her to dad, her. dad, I remember. Or oh, it was someone else. It, it wasn't the dad, it okay. was someone else. Okay. But she still came to do the work. And that was like mind busting for me. Because if it was me, like I put myself in her shoes. Yeah. If I lose someone close to me, maybe a boyfriend. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd I'd be able to You'd break down. Oh I would. We'll come to the issue of boyfriend since you mentioned it. We'll come to that shortly. <laughs> but let's continue this conversation even before we get there. <laughs> so I mean she flew to Ghana mm -hmm. to shoot the video and everything. This mm -hmm. was how many weeks ago? Um like two months ago. Okay. Oh uh, Almost two months ago, maybe. Two months? Yeah. I see. And it's now coming out, of course. The mm -hmm. post-production is a, a lot of work mm -hmm. as well. But <clears throat> tell me about this new one that you're going to put out. What's it called? Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, the title is Coming Home. Okay. And you know me, I love love. So it's a love song. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. I thought it had to do with y your music and maybe finding yourself. No, no, and no. Stuff. Th it's about a, love. This is a love song. Who are we talking about here, darling? Your special person. My special person. My I'm not the one who recorded the song. Oh, your special. special. So you do have a special person. I do. Aww. Yeah. See how you're blushing. Oh my God. <laughs> how long have you been in love? Uh, for about a year and some. Oh, you're in a serious relationship mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, I find it annoying when people ask me about it. And here I am trying to borrow into your, <laughs> Don't worry, your love life. A whole year. Yeah. Who's this lucky man? <laughs> uh, <laughs> some guy. Which guy? We know it's a guy. So tell us more. <laughs> well, he's not Ghanaian, first of all. He's not? No. Where's he from? Somewhere around Ghana. But he's lucky. You said he's not Ghanaian. <laughs> Where's he from? Somewhere around Ghana. So which yeah, is Yeah, he's not from Ghana. Okay. Yeah. But he lives here? No. Yeah, so where is he originally from? Somewhere around Ghana. I need a map to show you, so after the show, maybe. He's not Ghanaian, but he's from somewhere around Ghana. Bella, you know I don't want to disclose this. Is he me. French? Is he American? Is no, he British? He's English. Or English? Oh, he's English? Yeah. So he's supposed to be a white man or he's black? He's a man. Is he white or black? He's a man. He's English, but is he an, a black English or a Does white color English? color really matter? I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> he's a man. Okay. Yes. And how did you meet? 
Oh, we met. How? We met. How? We met. Where? How people meet. Like, Where? you look at me, I look at Where? you, we're meeting. Where did you meet? Outside my house. Okay. Yeah. So he lives in this neighborhood? No. Yeah. So no. that's how I could have been walking in front of, of your house. house. Uh-huh. Or he was probably <laughs> sneaking in and you caught him. <laughs> I want to know, V. I met him at uh, an event. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Ghana? No. Outside mm -hmm. Ghana. Mm -hmm. Which event is this? We're trying to keep tabs so we know. This, I've been lying so much <laughs> this whole time now. I can't even keep You're up lying. with my life. No, no. You have not been no, lying, but you just don't want to. <laughs> Guys, she's lying. I can say that for a fact. You can't tell me you don't have a boyfriend. Oh, boy. no, I do have a boyfriend. Okay. See, I'll keep confusing you. But he's not Ghanaian. We understand. Yeah, he's, he's English. Not, yeah, he's English. Okay, yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. You don't want to tell us more about, you know, what's been going on. No. Let's get back to your music, by Thank the way. So you, you were telling me <laughs> about how this talks about love. Yes. Tell me about it then. Okay, so it's two people who want to spend the rest of their lives with each other. Mm. And they've decided, and so now they are coming home. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I said come and see my mother. But... We've now really sorted everything out. Mm -hmm. We've settled on getting married. Yeah. And so now we're coming home. Is it not interesting that you did come <clears throat> and see my mother with um, a Nigerian artist? Mm -hmm. And then you're coming home and that's also with another Nigerian artist. See, I didn't even think about that. Now I'm thinking about <laughs> it and I'm like, okay, what, what's the connection there? Uh, there's no connection. Oh, he's Nigerian? No, he's not. Look at me trying to be CID <laughs> here. It's not working. It's not working. Guys, give me tips. Okay, so coming home to come and see your family. Yes. So they can finally, are you giving us hints of what could be happening in your life? Or no. is just generic music? Yeah, it's just generic. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. And so production-wise, mm -hmm. music video, who shot it? Where was it done? Okay, was it done so, here? Yeah, it was done here. It was shot by Andy Majiti. I hope I got okay. the name right. And he's an amazing young video director. Okay, producer. he's Ghanaian? He's Ghanaian. Okay. Yes, and we shot this in Osu, mm. front back. Oh, but when okay. you watch the video, you wouldn't even you realize. Won't, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, guys will get to watch it yeah. shortly. Yeah, the sets were so different, so you wouldn't even realize. And then um, a rooftop in Laboni. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's nice. Simple and this would, be, so this would be your first after your VGMA award? Yes. Ah, we haven't even talked about that award. I know. How did it feel when you it won? Felt Everybody amazing. said, V wins her first award after, <laughs> after going solo <laughs> or after breaking away with Link, so yes. from Link. Yes. Did you expect that award though? No. I, I, I it was didn't. what music video of the yes. year. Yes. I was actually in the studio recording because I had booked a session mm. a while back and I couldn't like say no to it and go to the mm -hmm. show. Someone oh, from outside. So that's why you were in there. Yes. Yeah, so I was literally in the studio and then I got a ping on my phone mm -hmm. and then I saw plenty tweets and I yeah. was like, wow. People really celebrated nice. you for that. Yes. Were you shocked? Um, no, I wasn't shocked, but I'd say it was just crazy because the category had really, really, really amazing mm -hmm. artists there with nice videos. So it was anyone's game. Exactly. Yeah, what, so my mind was not even there. Why do you think it came to you? <laughs> because good things come to me. <laughs> to people who wait. Really? No, it because it was a... really a good video. Okay. I shot this video in South Africa mm -hmm. with Moogies. Thank yeah. you, Moogies. I remember that. If this video didn't even win this award, I'd, I'd faint because that was like a really difficult time in my life. I went to yeah. South Africa to shoot some videos, mm -hmm. and as soon as we got to the airport, we moved from the airport, we're robbed. Took my passport with all my visas, and huh? they took all my money. Yo. In South Africa? Yes. When was this, last year or this year? This, that was uh, last year, I think. You Beginning were robbed? last year. Yeah. Along with the, the team, the production team, or it was just No, I, I, we went and dropped some of the people at mm -hmm. the house that mm -hmm. I got for all of us. And then I decided I wanted to follow and just get drinks yeah. and, you know, small party okay. for the London. And you were robbed. And we were robbed. Oh, my God. It was like watching, like, CSI, one of those detective movies, because they exactly did the whole happen? fingerprint dusting on the kind. Is it? How did it really happen, though? So what, did they attack you with um, weapons? Or? So, no, no, no. Luckily, okay. because we got to the shops. It's like a mall. Uh -huh. And then... There was a liquor store. We wanted yeah. to get some alcohol, get okay. some juice, you know, have a nice party in the mm -hmm. house. 